Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Nolan with CoinMag. Today I want to show you and talk to you a little bit about grinding ear corn. And behind me here is a Kloss 502 series chopper. And we literally just pulled this chopper out of the field that used the Coima K502 stops. Okay, I want to show you how many K502 stops we need to install on a, on a 502 series machine. And I'm also going to show you why. Um, what you see below me is we had literally just pulled the Coima dual roll adapter off the machine. And this machine was just in the field yesterday. And what happens is a lot of these cobs get, at the end of the year, get cut in half and stripped before they get into the feed roll drum because the corn is so brittle, okay? In the beginning of the year, when corn is wetter, it does not do exactly what I just did. But the later on in the year, corn shells very easily. Therefore, it's very difficult to uh, feed this into your cutter drum. Therefore, you need to use the K502 stop that we designed to keep your feed rolls up and to run the correct tension in the cab. Because we literally had some customers that called us at the end of the year saying, hey, my cloth package does not feed anymore. What can we do? And we installed our K502 stops, used the correct settings in the cab, which we'll show you later, and we were able to grind ear corn with the new cloth machines. This is Nolan, and we'll show you how to install them here shortly. So we're gonna install two blocks on each cylinder, okay? The cylinders control the upper rear feed roll. So we're gonna show you how to install two blocks here, and two blocks behind the spring, okay? And then we're gonna put two additional blocks on the upper front feed roll. We're gonna put a block here, we're gonna put a block here. That really allows you to grind ear corn very, very fast and efficient with a Coima dual roll adapter, okay? First thing we gotta do is we gotta take the spring off. Then we're gonna go in the cab and we're gonna show you how to raise the upper rear feed rolls. The machine can do this itself. You don't need any lifting apparatus. The machine can do it itself. Okay, by now, uh, most of you had should have had installed the quote unquote yearlish package from Kloss. And that button is right here. What you gotta do is push it in minus so that that dial shows zero. And that'll raise that upper, those feed rolls up Oh, about four inches and give us plenty of clearance. So after you're done doing that, then we're going to install our package. Install the front, upper front feed roll pieces first. Okay, then we're gonna install the upper rear feed roll pieces. And we'll tighten them just so that the lock nut um, is snug so it doesn't move. These can free flow and they don't have to be super tight. Two blocks in the right side. 
Now that the spring's out of the way, we'll install two blocks on the left side. Okay, and we'll put a block in the front. That's it. So, our K502 stops come with one set with two blocks. So you'll need to order three sets. Okay, this is Nolan with Koima Egg. Thank you for your time.